final four. I know, right? We're hoping we gotta find the energy. We're like, ah. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, final four out of 16 couples, especially. You know, this is the largest cast ever, and to make it to the final four is pretty amazing. Definitely exceeded our expectations, at least mine, and I'm sure yours too. <laughs> well, no, you know, as the competition progressed, though, I think that I definitely saw that, like, oh no, actually. You know, she actually has what it takes to you know, go a lot further and possibly you know, go all the way. You've done so well, and you should be really proud about how far we've come. It's semi-final, final four out of 16 couples, which is huge. And now you can start to kind of enjoy it and just kind of like, you know what, whatever happens, you yeah. get eliminated, then so be it. We can go out with our head held, you know, our head held, held high, so. Yeah, but we're still working really hard because we're so close that it's like you want to work that hard, but mm -hmm. you know, still have fun and not take it too, too seriously because, you know, if we leave next week, at least we can look back and be like, oh, we had a wonderful, fun week of rehearsals. And Yeah, because you, know, you don't want to leave on a bad week. The only thing you can do and the only thing you're in control of is just doing good dances because mm -hmm. that's what we've done all season long is having the dancing, the dancing speak for itself. You know what I mean? I mean, a lot of people have, you know, these large fan bases and this and that, whatever. But with Joanna, it's really been like she's had to earn her way each mm -hmm. and every single week. And she's done that. And she's already kind of shown you know, America that like, you know, who she is as a person and also what a great dancer she's become. And I think that's what Dance with the Stars is all about, you know, starting from, you know, nowhere really as a dancer and then really seeing this amazing progression and being a top contender in the end. We have three dances this week and yeah. it's extremely tough. I, I've never done anything so hard in my life and it's really getting to the point where it's catching up to me. Yeah, <laughs> I'm but exhausted. It, but it's this great thing about live television too because there's a deadline and it's not like you can push it or you can postpone it. It's like that's the deadline and that's it. So, you know, with that, somehow you find a way and you just make it happen. So that's what's great about it though. Yeah, you have no choice. Yeah. You gotta do it. Our three dances is, uh, the first one is cha-cha, which is more like sexy, but also fun, kind of cheeky dance. Cheeky. And we've done, a, you know, we've done quite a few Latin, so I'm hoping that that would be one of the stronger dances, but it's, it's totally different than like from a salsa or a samba, because the moves are a little different. Then we have Viennese waltz. Which, which is, is all about the frame and, and beautiful and elegance and classy. So I'll which work is, on that. <laughs> and then we have the salsa. The salsa, which is you know, it's dance we we originally done well. This week um, we did, definitely did one at a time. We started with cha cha, kind of got that one out of the way more or less. Then Vinny's waltz and salsa. So we do one at a time and. He, the, since we have so many right now, he tries to make a commitment where, okay, the, the, our first rehearsal day, we finish the whole routine, and then the second day, we finish the second dance routine. So that way, he feels more confident yeah. that at least we have the routines down, and it's for me, you know, the extra work that I have to do to get them and nail them. I have a little idea for, for our salsa, which is going to be interesting, which has never been done on the show. And it could go well, and it could not go well. Yeah. I can't we'll say what see. it is, but <laughs> let's put it this way. I can't even tell the producers about it, because they, wouldn't, they won't let me do it. Uh-oh. My body is... Look at my eyeballs. My, my eyeballs. body is crying out for help. Uh, I've been feeling like really lightheaded, kind of cloudy. My focus is, you know, I really have to focus. Otherwise, I just get, you know, like, it's hard for me to remember my steps and stuff. So I really have to push myself, because I'm just exhausted. I will not lie. Yeah, I've I mean, never done anything I mean, every, so hard in my life. Everybody is just exa exhausted yeah, everybody. at this point. And it's just like, you know, it's really... Like I said before, it's like the further along the competition you go, bearing in mind that since the day the show started, there hasn't been one day off, mm. not one single no. day off, not even like, you know, half a day <laughs> off. It's like every <laughs> single day, no matter what. So it's a complete and utter marathon. And it's this point is like where, you know, you start, you have to do the sprint and it gets harder. It's the hardest part. Yeah. And mentally you're tired, physically you're tired, but then you got to find your like fourth or fifth wind mm. and, you know, carry through it. So Yeah, my body's definitely screaming for some relaxation and some <laughs> sleep in time. Chuck is an amazing guy. He's really, really cool and, uh, you know, love him to death. And, of course, I love my sister more than anything. And, uh, you know, I, I, I've always been like that, you know, in relationships. I've always liked to stay friends with my, you know, past girlfriends and, you know, and her with her, you know, Chuck. Because I think it's the best way to go forward, I think, you know. I, there's no reason why there should be, uh, you know, any, you know, tension between you know two people who love each other, but just maybe isn't the right time, you know.